Good day, good day! How the fuck are ya? This is your friend Dan O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today? All right, all right, all right. Welcome to a one on Wednesday. Have I got something for you today on a one on Wednesday? Make sure you come on over to Facebook to uh, the Roverland page and your uh, like button and subscribe button. Make sure you're doing that. That really helps out the channel. All right, we've got some neat and exciting things going on with this uh, this uh, one on Wednesday, and I'm kind of not showing you, but you already kind of know what it is. It's a Hot Wheels, and you kind of see what's going on here. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. But bam! So I got this off of eBay last uh, unpacking, uh, unboxing Saturday. Uh, what did I pay? Seven dollars, something like the six dollars, something like that. I kind of, kind of went out and. Uh, spent the extra money to uh, get this in a kind of a timely manner. Uh, some of you guys are finding them already. I hope to find these. You know, this is uh, Hot Wheels, so they pump out a lot of stuff. Um, and so hopefully I can find this in my store. Uh, H, but it's, it's a series. It's not out of the regular case. So it's a series. They got the Mercedes Unimog 1300. Uh, the 69 Jeepster Commando, the Olds 44W30, uh, the Toyota Land Cruiser, which is not a Land Rover, but it does have the word land in it, uh, and the 2015, or I should say the 15 Land Rover Defender Double Cab, and so this is uh, new for this year, so it uh, was trademarked for last year, 2021. So just coming out, and uh, that's the code for this one. I don't know how many more codes there are for that, but uh, yeah, pretty, pretty cool. So there's the UPC code. Lot of interesting things to talk about here on this one for sure. So while we're looking at this one, I've got some interesting things uh, that I kind of want to comment on, stuff like that on the card um so i saw this and i'm like man that really looks uh familiar this uh, uh outdoor background the car and stuff like that and i'm like you know what that kind of really looks like what matchbox does you know they're now doing this uh, kind of card art now. I know it's the orange and it's the orange brand and stuff like that But they are doing more like this, you know uh, Kind of thing which this is standard now for matchboxes to have cards like this But this uh, and so then I was thinking about it. I'm like why what's going on? Uh, you know because normally and this is just kind of the past for this casting Normally they have like this kind of a card, blue background with the the Hot Wheels and then the car kind of facing the same way as, you know, the, the truck and stuff like that. So that's a regular mainline 94 cents, a dollar 10, whatever, dollar nine. You know, that's a regular mainline, just like this one here is a regular mainline. But Hot Wheels does do uh, special series like this one and here's another example so I had to pull this one out I know it's a different model but here's the last one uh, that was in a special series and you know I don't really know they don't really say uh, what these series are called but see how it is uh, a different background it's not your traditional blue so that's why this kind of stood out to me is because this is a special series and during special series they do a little bit different type of card so one of the last ones that we saw on the uh, double cab was this bugger here and of course it was a series uh, Forza Motorsports 
And so this is kind of one of the uh, uh, later ones. Uh, I think this was the last one that was in a series for the double cab, for the double cab. So really kind of cool there. That that's uh, so that's what kind of stood out for me was this uh, the, the 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 artwork really kind of stood out, and I really thought that was cool. Now during the uh, video it, from the unboxing video, I really just didn't take a look at it because you know we were just doing an unboxing, and so then I started to uh, stop and look at it. Uh, later on in my at my leisure and so um, let's go ahead and do that together okay um, as you see this one was kind of binged a little bit it's uh you know it is literally my one and only but because it is Hot Wheels and uh, they usually pump out a lot of stuff Yes, I'm gonna open this one. Yeah, so here we go. We're gonna open this one and we're gonna take a look at the model. And uh, I gotta hold it down here off to the side so I can get my my little slimline trim box cutter off here. So sorry for the uh, uh, non-video excitement here, but yeah. All right, all right. Interestingly, they have a white Mattel. Usually it's a red dot Mattel on them now, uh, but it's white. So that's kind of neat. Of course, the, the letters are white and stuff like that. All right, let's get at it. Let's take a look at this bugger. One last quick glimpse at the artwork. You can see, oh, he's splashing through uh, a creek or a river or something. Uh, I've got to say right away, um, this is an American thing. I, I really don't think that uh, over across the pond, and, and, and write a comment down below, is this really, this is not Land Rover. Usually tall and skinny European tires. I know that there are some crazy ones out there and stuff like that across the pond and around, but uh, normally Land Rovers have, you know, you know, tires inside the rims, you know, that's <laughs> tires inside the uh, wheel wells, I should say. So we're back to, um, we're going to take a look right away at these crazy wagon wheels. This is what I call them. Um, not my desired uh, wheel of choice. And uh, so, yeah, okay. So that's, that's kind of a, kind of a drawback. I think it's called the bead locker or something like that, but brown tires so here we are. Oh, let's take a look at the base real quick. Black base, same thing. We've had black bases before. No big deal. So this is a uh, mudding one, flat black. And uh, one thing that caught my eye was this white pinstriping. Uh, when it was in the package, I thought it was just kind of one of the white lines from the, I'm trying to flash you, I thought it was kind of a, just a white line from the flashing of the plastic, but it isn't. It's a pinstripe, and that's pretty sharp. I like that. And then, of course, the mud splatter. It seems like uh, Hot Wheels is taken off with the mud splatter look. Now, the nice, neat thing about this is it is a brown interior and brown eyebrows on the wheel wells. So that is a new color for us there. Check this out. This has got like uh, full decos in the back. Uh, Land Rover Defender there on the right. Got the tail lights, the backup lights, turn signals. Really, really nice. Now, might I say that this is not a main line. This is a special series. So you're not paying, you know, a buck or that, you know, you're paying... A little bit more normally at the store, maybe two fifty, something like that, but under three dollars. So, very very cool. So they got side decos, rear decos. We're gonna get to the other side. Here is another side deco, really nice. I really like that. And then uh, we're gonna take a look at the hood. Look at that. You can see the decos there on the wings as well as the bonnet. Nice little pinstriping there. Really, really cool, and you see that uh, satin black, really cool. All right, I left the front end 
for last because uh, even has the uh, marker lights up on the front wings there are uh, lit, lit, painted. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, back to what I was saying. So I've left the front end uh, as a kind of a thing because I think this is kind of special. So let's look at it. But bam Check this out. So we have the black base, which has the uh, winch on it. I'm sure that's a Warren 7925. Uh, I think that's the old traditional Warren winch. <laughs> 7425, I can't remember now. But anyway, um, if you notice something, this is kind of interesting. There is light details on the on the uh, bull bar lights, the hella lights here. And uh, yeah, so you, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, the interesting part, okay, so yeah, we got the, the top decos there and you know, we have tail lights, but I need your guys' help. I gotta do some research and some more poking around with my Hot Wheel guys, cause I'm not, uh, a liter literate in Hot Wheels as much as uh, you would think, but I think that this is the first time that the plastic part has had decos. Usually it's just the metal, the body part, that has the decos because the metal body part comes from a different part of the plant that's over there, and it comes through and it gets painted and then it gets the decos on it, and then it gets clear coated, and then it goes to the final assembly where they put the base, the wheels, the interior, the glass, and they put it all together and ba-bam, they rivet it. So, what I'm saying is, is this plastic interior piece normally doesn't have decos on it, so it comes, because it comes from over here, to the production uh, where they get put together, it had to go to the paint department and get painted or decaled before it could be assembled. Or maybe they did it afterwards, but something really unique that I've not really noticed on other Hot Wheels. And hey, man, comment down below if you know of any other models of Hot Wheels that they've done the deco on the plastic parts. So maybe we're getting to uh, a different era in Mattel Hot Wheels where they're going to start putting decos on the plastic parts. So wow, what a sharp car. Boy, oh boy, look at the time, how it flies. I gotta get out of here. Thanks for joining me on a one on Wednesday. We really had a cool time with this. Yeah, check it out. <laughs> All right, this is your friend Dano. I got to go. And remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day. Get in focus, eh?